In this video, you will experience firsthand the intuitive user interface and see some of the powerful end user based features and benefits of using J2 Innovations FinStack. Let's log into the software. Here is the admin screen where user permissions are managed. There are three primary user roles and a variety of user access permissions that can be uniquely customized for each individual user. Licenses and additional apps are also managed here. Let's jump into a demo project. The navigational tree on the top of the interface provides easy to use dropdowns that display the project's architectural structure, allowing for users to easily navigate and select their context. Before we get started, it's important to note that FinStack is context sensitive. This means that various features within the FinStack software will intelligently provide data and react differently based on the navigational context. You can see an example of this in the mini app menu located on the far right as I change my navigational context. On the top left corner of the interface, we'll find the app launcher menu. This menu contains the various applications dedicated to each of FinStack's unique primary functions. The default application when logging into FinStack is the graphics application. The graphics app allows you to view and interact with graphics created using FinStack. Here, we have a top-level graphic that represents this project's campus view. As I mouse over the site directory within the graphic, you will notice that it highlights the corresponding building on the map. You can select from either the map or the directory to drill down into that site. Let's select the city center. Notice the Magic Bubbles widget appears. Magic Bubbles are hyperlinked icons that represent various applications relating to the selected item. As I select the main bubble, it will direct us to the building graphic. Similar to what we saw on the campus graphic, you can select a floor by clicking on the building image or on one of the corresponding labels. Let's select floor one. Again, we see that the magic bubbles pop up. Let's select the main floor bubble to drill down into the floor plan graphic. On the floor plan graphic, you will see typical zone and performance data represented by labels and color gradients. By selecting a zone, you can drill down to the specific piece of equipment that's controlling the zone to see more details. We will select the zone representing VAV03. And once again, the magic bubbles pop up providing even more related applications to the selected equipment. We will select the main bubble for VAV03 to jump to the equipment graphic. One of the unique features of Fin Graphics is the ability to create clean and uncluttered layouts, giving it a modern look and feel. We have eliminated all of the hyperlinking that is traditionally hard-coded into other packages. By removing clutter, we free up white space by launching the magic bubbles using an info button located in the graphics title block. As I click on it, you will see the magic bubbles displayed on the current screen. These application bubbles are always available and provide access to related data such as overrides, notes, schedules, and detailed point graphics. When we select the Point Graphics bubble, the Point Graphics application shows up on the side panel, providing a list of points from the same equipment that is in the current graphic. This allows us to view both the point data displayed in the graphical view, as well as all of the points that are located under that equipment in the database. The points list contains clickable icon buttons on the right side that display additional information. Let's select the history icon next to the point. This will open a mini history view containing trend data for that point on the current day. Notice that you can also download this information as a CSV, JSON file, or PDF file. By selecting the command point icon, the user can override or make manual changes to that point. By selecting a scheduled point, the user can see what schedule it is controlled by. Selecting it will show the schedule's current output value as well as when the next change will occur. By clicking on the info icon in the heading, we can display magic bubbles and the link to the related schedule based on the occupied point in this equipment. Clicking this link will open the schedules app with our current equipment's data already loaded into it on the side panel so that we can interact with that specific schedule editor. Here you can edit the regular schedule on the weekly tab. You can edit an existing time block by clicking and holding on the block you wish to edit. We can drag the handles at the top and bottom of the time block, then scroll up and click apply. By selecting the events tab, special events such as holidays and reoccurring events can be created. These events would override the weekly regular schedule. Clicking on the points tab within the schedule app allows us to view the points bound to this particular schedule. 
You can also move selected points to a different schedule from here. On the navigation header, we can select the home icon to reset the current context back to the top level. You can use the navigation header to drill down from city center to floor one, to the equipment list, and notice the red badges that indicate there are alarms associated with some of the equipment. By selecting the alarm badge, such as the one on VAV03, the alarms app will open on the right side panel and change the context in the navigation header to that equipment. On the right side of the screen, we can view and acknowledge the alarm. Clicking the information icon lets the user view the attributes and more detailed information regarding this alarm. In the top right corner of the alarm tile is a link icon that brings up magic bubbles for the related equipment, which in this case is VAV03. Let's click on the large magic bubble to navigate to VAV03 and seamlessly bring up its related graphic. You will notice the room temperature label has a purple box indicating its point is overridden. Clicking on the info icon in the header brings up the magic bubbles so you can select the overrides icon to launch the app in the right side panel. Overrides are points that have been overridden in Finn using the actions menu. The user can clear the overrides by using emergency auto or manual auto. Clicking on the info icon in the header again brings up the magic bubbles for the VAV. Because this equipment has a reference to HU1, you will see an additional icon in the list to display magic bubbles for HU1. So let's navigate by selecting the top icon and then the large graphic icon to jump to HU1 to explore more. A common application to look at while viewing the HU is the Summary app. Clicking on the info icon in the header again brings up the magic bubbles, but this time for HU1 since it's the current context. By clicking on the summary bubble, we will see a list of available summaries attached to this aid chew. When we click on them, a pop-up window will appear displaying all of the VAVs served by this particular aid chew. Similar to a spreadsheet, you can sort by clicking on the column headers. As you click on them, additional data calculations will appear below. By clicking the compare icon, we can compare two columns and a new column will appear to display the differential. Another useful application is the notes app. This allows for users to quickly view or enter in notes within the project and assign it to a particular user if needed. Additional applications can be accessed from the App Launcher menu, which is located on the upper left-hand corner of the screen. The Dashboards app is another really powerful application that allows you to easily view and create fully customizable dashboards based on available project data. Let's select the O&M manual tile. This allows us to embed many kinds of resources into the database with hypertext links to those resources. From here, the user is able to view the available docs and content. As you have seen, there are many great applications that make up FinStack. It is truly a seamless experience to get to related applications that are just a mouse click away. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel for more Finn related content and be sure to stay tuned for more ways to have yourself a fantastic day.